Children are citizens now. Children are not citizens in the future. There is something happening every Friday for the last year and a half with hundreds of thousands of children around the world that demonstrates my point exactly. A young woman from Sweden as well as a young woman from here in Canada, Greta Thunberg and Autumn Pelche have been out in the streets with hundreds of thousands of their peers leaving school to protest against the destruction of the environment and climate change, really climate emergency. This has never happened in my lifetime. It's an unprecedented demonstration of global citizenship. I believe that these young women and their peers represent a different kind of understanding and consciousness than ever before. They're paying attention to science in a way that government and business people have ignored at our peril. They're intelligent enough in a time of unprecedented complexity and change to be listening to the right voices in terms of the research that tells us we're destroying the planet. These young people are able to speak with each other through internet technologies, social media, and are connected in ways that humans have never been connected before. The structures that exist in education, politics, and business are based on industrial age thinking. So these young people are moving more quickly into the 21st century than so many of the adults around them. The backlash against these two young women, particularly the young Swedish teenager Greta Thunberg, is also unprecedented and represents the kind of ignorance that keeps us from making positive change, protecting the environment, and handing these children and young people rightfully, as the Convention on the Rights of the Child suggests, a healthy world, a healthy environment. I can't speak highly enough of how these young men and women are acting, and it's in 170 countries, not just from Sweden and Canada, but all over the world. It's time to awaken.